Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customizing and reviewing the Bravado Gauntlet Classic and this bad boy was just released today into GTA Online. Again, I was going to upload this video as unreleased drip feed content but no, Rockstar have once again beat me to the punch and um, released this car the day of me uploading this bitch so um like i said it was gonna be an unreleased vehicle video but now it is being released to the world in gta online and uh, it is now currently available in gta online as of today um that being thursday the 8th so when you purchase this vehicle it will be from southern san andreas and it will cost you six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars so very cheap in my opinion for a brand new dlc vehicle and especially for one that looks this awesome it just looks so fucking good man and it actually feels quite good to drive to i haven't gone too far into it i've literally drove it from the street to the ls customs but from the little bit I've done already, it feels real, real good. And uh, it just looks awesome. And for 615000 man, this has definitely got to be one just to purchase, just to have it, because it's so cheap. But anyway, we're going to carry on with this video. We're going to start with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get race brakes, bumper, front bumper. So we get four additional options. And I can't see them changing too much, which they don't. Um, but it's all good. It's an old school muscle car. You can't have crazy um, customization options for the bumpers because otherwise it would look weird. Uh, me personally, I think um, this bolted stock one looks the best out of all of them. So I'm going to go with that. And to match the front, I'm going to go bolted stock for the rear also. But we'll just have a look at the other two. Oh, sweet. So you get like little rivets on there as well, which looks pretty cool. And you can color code it as well. The color coded one actually looks quite good. Um, but I like the chrome version of it because it gives it more of an old school feel. So I'm going to stick with my first choice. Then we've got the chassis. So we've got a roll cage. The roll cage with the carbon seats. And now it's going to be pretty much the same cage but with different seats I'm assuming. Which it is. It's exactly what that is. Um, I'm going to go with a Mark IV racing cage because I prefer them seats out of all of them. Engine, we're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade. The exhaust, we are going to get... Oh, I like them titanium ones. They look pretty cool. The box exhausts also look good too. Even that side exit exhaust looks pretty cool. Um, not a massive fan of the the side pipe exhaust like that. Uh, you know, so I think I'm going to skip that one. And another good thing is, is when you get the side exit, it kind of um, smooths off the rear. So you see we've got inserts there for where the exhausts are supposed to be. And then when we go to the side exit, it smooths it off so the inserts are no longer there. So I like that. That's a real nice touch. We don't usually get that. But me personally, I'm not a massive fan of side exits. So I'm going to go with a titanium tipped exhaust. So next we've got the front fender. We've only got one option for this. And we can just put some gills on the side. Not sure about them. Uh, I think it looks better with none, so I'm going to stay none. For the grill, five additional options. The stock grill actually looks really good. It's got to be said. Uh, so we've got the primary. The secondary. The primary performance. The secondary performance. And then the competition grill, which takes away the headlights. Um, the sectioned one actually looks quite cool. But performance is is my favorite i want to say oh i don't know yeah i'm gonna go with the primary performance for now maybe change it to the secondary um see how it goes but for now i'm going to go primary performance for the hood loads of options for hoods man loads of options the stock hood looks awesome and then we've got the snorkel which looks cool too the carbon the ridge line the carbon version of that Oh man, the twin intake. Some fucking awesome looking options for this. The deep inset. That looks fucking sweet. Then you've got the dual filter. And you got the big boys. Look at them. Fucking. That looks awesome, man. Oh my word. Exposed engine setup. Damn. Oh man. That looks mean. 
all these hood options I actually really like take away the carbon ones I, I'm not a massive fan of carbon um, on an old school muscle car so take them out of the equation all the other designs are fucking amazing really nice and now I'm going to have a tough choice in choosing it. I actually really like the snorkel. I thought that looked really cool. Oh, man. But then I kind of want the deep inset. <laughs> so many good options for the hood. The ridge line looks good too, man. Oh. Um, really don't know what one to go with. I felt I might go with a deep inset. But then these look fucking awesome as well. I don't want to remove the whole hood. Even though it looks sweet, I don't think... Mm, that's not really the sort of look I want to go for. Oh, man. I want a big block as well. Nah, I think I'm going to... Nah, I'm good. I'm going to go with a deep inset. I like that. It looks really cool. Even though they all look really good, I think the deep inset is my favourite, so I'm going to stick with my... Um, my instinct on this one. <laughs> Next we've got the lights. Headlights, I'm going to purchase the Xeon headlights, then the liveries, loads of liveries. Uh, we've got the Black Bravado, then we've got White 445. That looks pretty cool. It's a nice old school race livery, which looks pretty nice. Um, black, oh you've got the black stripes and the white stripes. That looks cool. The air cave. That actually looks really smart. Not gonna have it. Not my sort of thing on a, a car that I own, but visually, I think it looks pretty cool. So, a couple of pinup ones. They look. They actually look really smart. I like the look of those. I think you'd have to have like a matte paint on that though, because I think the shine or the gloss and the glossiness of the of the paint kind of makes the livery look a little bit weird. But if you had a matte color on that, it'd look awesome. And then we've got these old school. Um, race liveries you know I'm not a massive fan of them as a lot of you should know already because I say it in every single video <laughs> not a fan of the race liveries then we've got hot shot that looks awesome that actually looks alright that look, don't look too bad not a fan so there are some really nice livery options on there as well um, I'm not going to get any of them because I think this car is going to look a lot better without a livery so we're going to skip the plate, we're going to go to the rear fenders, two additional options. So we get a little scoop on the side there, or you can have the twin scoop. Um, but I think the single one looks the best, so I'm going to go with that one. For the respray, primary colour, we are going to go... Should I have a matte on this? Yeah man, I think I'll have a matte colour on this bad boy. Matte black looks pretty sweet. Some really cool options for this. Um, I'm definitely feeling a matte for this um, oh, I don't know maybe like a, a matte grey yeah I'm going to go matte grey that looks pretty sweet and then for the secondary colour we also go go matte what does this change change the roof so I'm going to go matte grey again for the secondary colour keep it all the same then we've got the interior I'm going to I'm going I'm going to go graphite for the trim colour then we've got the roof, and we can get a sunstrip, secondary sunstrip, then we get louvers at the back, primary roof, the vinyl roof, that's look, that actually looks quite nice, especially with the matte black paint I've got on there, I think that vinyl roof actually looks really cool. And then we've got the secondary roof set up, uh, so you get a sunstrip and louvers, uh, the same bit in primary, then you get vinyl with louvers, and, the, and a sunstrip as well. Um... Oh man, I don't. I think I'm just gonna stay how it is actually. Even though there's some nice options in there, I prefer how it is. Then we've got the side skirts. So we've got the custom skirts. We've got the primary skirts, uh, secondary, the ridged, the primary ridge, secondary ridged, and then the competition skirt. I'm gonna go with the primary ridge skirt, and then we've got the spoilers, ducktail. I actually really like that. And then we've got the inset ducktail low level oh my word that looks awesome <laughs> got the secondary of that version as well um so oh man it's gonna be a ducktail or just go fucking full balls to the wall and get this super spoiler let's do it let's get a super spoiler suspension 
we are going to get um don't want it too low actually for a muscle car I don't really want it too low so I'm going to go uh, street suspension then transmission I'm going to get a super transmission turbo obviously the turbo tuning for the wheels uh, wheel type I am going to go into what we got in the tuner might find some fucking awesome ones in there see these look pretty cool Cosmo actually really suits that car I don't know if they're a little bit too modern um, for this type of vehicle but they do look cool the outsider looks good too yeah there's some actually really nice options for this I really like them they actually suit the vehicle really nicely oh the dubbed looks good I actually yeah then I'm not even going to look at any more I'm going to go with those bad boys they look awesome on this car wheel colour we are going to keep it that is actually carbon black by the looks of it anyway so we are going to keep it carbon black uh, and then to finish off the build we're going to go light smoke window tint and that is it for the build looks awesome really really happy with the way this is looking um, obviously it looks really good from stock and what you can do to it not loads it's not you know it's not crazy amount of customizations but it's enough and um, I actually think it looks really good man from what I've done to it but to counteract that massive spoiler I think there's one other thing that I, I need to change just real quick so that one thing I do need to change is in the hood and I think to counteract the massive spoiler we need a massive engine at the front so I'm gonna go with the, yeah the bravado filter that's that's the one I'm gonna go with and I hope and hopefully that will balance it out a little bit more make it look a little bit yeah I think that's worked that looks a lot better I'm a little bit unsure about that big spoiler though now now I've got it out and I'm looking at it a little bit more um, I ain't gonna go back in there and change it now I've already done that once <laughs> I've done that with the hood option and I, st I, look, I think it looks better now I've changed the hood option um, but I think I changed the spoiler now if I was to go back in there um, and maybe have it as a as the duck the ducktail inset. That was my second choice. I think that would probably set it off a little bit nicer. Um, but I'm happy with the way it looks. You know, overall, I think it looks awesome. Even with that massive spoiler on the back, that was a bit of a spare at the moment craziness of me that was um, choosing that that option. But it still looks cool. You know, it's still an awesome looking car. This Bavado Gortner Classic, obviously um, based on a '70s Dodge Challenger. Six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars is gonna cost you. Pennies, mate. Pennies in today's GTA. And for a car like this, I mean, what is there to think about? What is there to think about? Even if it's shit in the in the corners, it's gonna be quick. You know, in a straight line, it's gotta be. It's a muscle car. It's gotta be quick in a straight line. It does feel a little bit loose when you when you're steering about. It doesn't feel as tight as some of the supercars and sports cars that I've customized and reviewed already. Um, but you know, it's a it's a muscle car. It's not you know it's supposed to be great in the corners, but it does feel pretty pretty nippy. In in the straight, it feels quite like it would be it, like it could be quite quick um, in a straight line at least. And uh, like I said, it, is, it does feel a little bit loose in the steering, but it's a muscle car, and you know I mean, like, like I said, what do you expect? But it's definitely capable. It's not you know out of control or really that difficult to control. It actually feels really nice um, to drive. You know, it's, it's not too difficult, and um, I'm really, really happy with the way the way this car's driving. I'm happy with the way it looks from stock. It looks awesome from stock. Um, the driving capability is really good for what it is, and um, even though I've made a questionable customization <laughs> in that spoiler, I still think it works, man. It still looks awesome. Um, but yeah, if I could, if I could take it, well, I can. But when I, if I do take it back in now, I will be removing that spoiler. Um, but everything else, I'm, I'm well happy with, and I think it looks awesome, man. Um, so I think on that note, six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars for this, go and buy it. And on that note, I am going to end the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash a like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content? And until next time, guys, I am out. Adios. Thank you.